your strength and show me your weakness We're in this together now We're in this together now Give me your love and tell me your secrets Cause we're in this together now Yeah, we're in this together now Hi sweet friends and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to share with you a special way you can commemorate Easter or Mother's Day while we are all spending time in our homes during this time of quarantine. Using items you may already have at home or through a very quick trip to your local grocery store in order to create a splendid afternoon tea. Afternoon tea is a British tradition that was introduced in 1840 by Anna the Duchess of Bedford. There are four variations of afternoon tea, but in this video I'm going to show you the most elaborate variation, and that is a full tea with savory treats, scones, and sweet treats. Now before we begin, here's a very quick note about afternoon tea. It is not to be confused with high tea, which was the working man's tea. If you'd like a full history on afternoon tea, high tea, and the different variations of afternoon tea, let me know in the comment section and I will create that for you in a future video. Now the first thing I like to do is jot down the treats I'll be serving for my afternoon tea and choose the tea. Today I'll be serving a full tea consisting of two savory sandwiches, cranberry and orange scones, croissants with strawberry jam, sugar cookies, and fresh strawberries. I'm planning to have this tea a little early in the day, so I'm also serving non-alcoholic mimosas, but champagne is always a perfect complement to a full afternoon tea. As you can see, I decided to have our afternoon tea outside. Since we've been sheltering at home, it seems as though the birds are chirping even louder and everything seems to be so peaceful even though we live just outside of Washington, D.C. Now the three most essential serveware pieces that you will need to host an afternoon tea is a teapot, teacups and saucers, and a tiered tray. Now if you don't have a tiered tray, that's okay. If your pieces are mismatched, that's okay too. In fact, I think it's more charming and interesting that way to use mismatched pieces. Once my table is set, it's time to assemble the savories. Now the savory scones and sweets are technically three separate courses that at a formal tea are served together but eaten in order. Savories should be simple and dainty. My rule of thumb is to make enough so that each person gets the equivalent of a full sandwich. I'm going to show you how to make two very easy tea sandwiches. Now please keep in mind that at the time I'm filming this video, the world is in the middle of a pandemic crisis. I'm just using what I have here at home. Also, in my faith tradition, it is still Great Lent. I'm doing this tea on the Feast of the Annunciation, so I am using salmon, but everything else that I'm using is vegetarian. So with that said and out of the way, the first sandwich I'm going to make is a simple cucumber sandwich. Typically, you want to use white bread, and you also want to use cream cheese instead of the vegan mayonnaise that I'm using. Cut thin slices of cucumber and place them across your piece of bread.
Another variation of this, if you don't have bread at home or if you're missing some ingredients, is to use crackers. So I'm just using a few pieces of smoked salmon and a couple of dollops of vegan sour cream, but I would suggest to use cream cheese instead. And then I'm topping them with some fresh parsley because this is what I had in my refrigerator. Several other variations that would taste really good would be to use egg salad, chicken salad, or to do some mozzarella cheese with tomato and basil. The second sandwich I'm going to show you is a smoked salmon sandwich. So again, I would use cream cheese instead of this mayonnaise that I have if you have it on hand. And I add a little bit of dill and then I start to layer the smoked salmon. Now I'm also adding some arugula sprouts to give it a little bit of crunch, but this is totally optional. It's just something I happen to have in my fridge. And then you want to put some of that cream cheese on the other piece of bread, but here I'm using some of the vegan sour cream. Once you've spread that out nicely, you're going to place the top on the sandwich and press it down. Then you're going to cut the crusts off of the bread and then cut your sandwich into fourths. I've got my teapot on the stove and I'm ready to plate the food. I hope you'll join me for tea. Oh God, here she comes. Too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks Given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know Alright my sweet friends, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you're staying safe out there. Please stay at home, have a wonderful, blessed Easter, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I've gotta let her go, I know it won't be easy, I wanna hold her close, but I have to try. Try as hard as I can Cause you'll never be mine I'll